All right, it's almost time to dye the river green. We are one week from one of the biggest holidays that's celebrated in Chicago. And of course, we are talking about St. Patrick's Day. It's an excuse for me to pretend like I'm uh, talking about Frosted Lucky Charms, which are magically delicious. And so are the drinks we're about to find out about, because you're probably going to be having some sort of celebration. You might want to mix up some drinks as well. Ken Pritz is the beverage director at River Roast, River Roast and he's going to show us how to make some St. Patty's themed cocktails. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, before we get to the cocktails, I mean, he's the beverage director at a very fancy pants, popular restaurant. So you were busy last night till the wee small hours of the morning. Yeah, right? we had a couple weddings going on. It was quite a long evening, but made it bright and early here. So That's right, and he already mixed them up for us, too. First of all, let's talk about how's River Roast celebrating St. Patrick's Day next weekend? Uh, so we are going to be open at 2 p.m. on Saturday with some live music, mm -hmm. and uh, we are just going to be doing some fun uh, specials from the culinary team, and we're going to be pouring a lot of Tullamore Dew. A lot of Guinness. Okay, good. Well, we'll be hearing that too. And what I love is are those roasted chickens that yes, you have over yeah. at River Roast. If you've ever had a chance to go there, those chickens are to die for. Sell thousands of them. I'm going to understand that these drinks probably go very well. They do, yeah. With the chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with St. Patrick's Day. Absolutely. What's the first one you'd recommend for us here? Uh, we're going to start with the uh, Larry's Banana Buck, which is just your classic whiskey ginger cocktail, but elevated just a little bit, featuring Tullamore Dew, a really a uh, nice boutique-y uh, banana liqueur from France. Mm -hmm. uh, the combination of those flavors kind of work really well together. Okay, can I ask how it came up? you came up with the name Larry's Banana Buck? Banana Buck, Buck yeah. is a family of cocktails that is just okay. like your whiskey and ginger, mm -hmm. ginger beer, actually. And how about Larry? Uh, it just sounded Irish. <laughs> yeah, just on okay. a whim. Uh, Larry O'Reilly. Okay, there, there go, we go. Yeah. If you're watching Larry O'Reilly, give us a call. And, uh, <laughs> the hats off to you there. And so that's how you came up with that. And then it's a long way to Tipperary, but not a long way to this next cocktail. Right. That's exactly how this cocktail came to be. It's actually a very classic uh, pre-prohibition cocktail that started mm -hmm. in about 1917. Essentially, your Manhattan variation with a little bit of uh, green chartreuse. How do you put it together for us? Uh, so you got your ingredients in here already. Typically, you want to do about two ounces of your whiskey. Okay. With about three quarters of a nice um, boutique Italian vermouth, and then just a little bit of chartreuse for herbaceousness. It's like my family. We had my, my aunt was Irish, my uncle was Italian, and they got together there, so there we go. There we go, and then what you want to do is you want to put it into a mixing glass and stir for about 30 seconds just for proper dilution. Mm -hmm. Takes a little bit of time, but ends up having Can I do that for you? Come on, come on. And then, then if I was in Australia, right would I have to do it the other way? I can't do it. I'm making a mess you're, here already. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Okay. okay, all right. Then hurry up. we got to hurry all up right. and no, finish we're, it. We're good. All we can say is it's, it's a long way. I already told my temporary joke, but uh, Ken Fritz, I want to thank you for being here thank today. You, you so made these, much. these wonderful cocktails. You can get them at River Roast, uh, not just for St. Patrick's Day. I bet you'd make them up for Year anybody round. who asked for them. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have a link to the recipes for these drinks, along with the segment on our website, cbschicago.com. That's going to be just a little bit later on this morning.